Hello, welcome to the Daily Devotion. I'm Kathy Morris, pastor of the Dixon United Methodist Church. The resurrection of Jesus Christ has given us the hope of a new kind of life, a life of compassion and kindness, a life of justice and peace, a life of purpose and fulfillment. Even though this is the promise of Christ's resurrection, we do not always live up to, to the hope that it offers us. Augustine of Hippo was one of the very great leaders of the, of the early church. He wrote, Sins, however great or detestable they may be, are looked upon as trivial or not sins at all when people get accustomed to them. Yes, our sins don't seem very important just when we get accustomed to them. We humans have great powers of self-deception. We can misbehave in all sorts of ways and never think that something is amiss. We need help to see the truth, the truth about our attitudes, the truth about our words, the truth about our actions. In our Bible reading for today, the Apostle Paul reminds the Christians of Rome of the essential power of the Holy Spirit to help us live the new life that Christ offers to us. I'm reading from Romans chapter 8 verses 10 and 11 from the New Revised Standard Version. But if Christ is in you, though the body is dead because of sin, the spirit is life because of righteousness. If the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit that dwells in you. The Holy Spirit dwells in you. The Holy Spirit dwells in you and thus you have been given life. You have been given the power to live a good life. For a prayer exercise, what I'd like to suggest that you do is to either very gently place your hands upon your, your eyes, uh, not at all tightly, but just very gently, or you can put on a, a pair of glasses if you have them. May this action be your prayer to the Holy Spirit your prayer to the Holy Spirit, asking the Spirit to open your eyes to see those things that are amiss in your life, the things that truly are sin. Also, ask the Holy Spirit to help you see clearly the new life that Christ is inviting you to experience today.